guys so this is going to be a little vlog of me traveling to georgia i'm going back home to athens to go to the georgia game with my father yeah i decided to drive because i still don't feel comfortable with flying and it's been almost two years since i seen my dad so i decided that i'm going to go so i'm gonna drive it is going to take me 877 miles to get there and 12 hours so i'm considering stopping because my husband wants me to stop and so i'll probably stop in mississippi or between mississippi and louisiana border so we'll see straight shot from texas to georgia off of i-20 and then i'll take the other route to get to athens so come along with me as we drive from texas to georgia into my hotel room my husband booked me a hotel because he didn't want me to drive all the way i stopped in birmingham alabama so that's and guess what's across the street well not directly across the street but across the street of the main road is bucky's like bucky has expanded from just texas to alabama and florida so yeah so i'm gonna show you my room and i'm gonna go to sleep because it is currently is 11 09 central time so this is my room like i said i'm at the hampton inn well, I guess they theme is polka dots because it's on the carpet in the hallway. But it's just a standalone shower. And it has the mirror. And then it has a desk. I got a king size bed and a TV. In the morning, I probably go to Bucky's to get some gas to fill up. I think I'm like almost at half of a tank. So I'll go to Bucky's, get some gas. So I think from here to Athens, I think it's going to take me three hours, three and a half hours. Who knows? Atlanta traffic from like Austell to <laughs> Duluth is a little ridiculous sometimes. So who's to say how long it will take me to get through Atlanta? I may go another way to get to Athens. So if you don't know, I'm originally from Athens, Georgia. That is Northeast Georgia. It's about an hour and a half away from Atlanta. Um, that's where I'm from. I'm not from Atlanta. I don't claim Atlanta like most people do. I am from Athens. So yeah, so this whole trip is just to go to the Georgia game with my dad. So I just wanted to vlog driving. Probably gonna do a lot of vlogging once I get into Athens. Um, so yeah, probably get some clips from when I'm at the game, clips of food that I eat. And other than that, that's about it. So I'm gonna get some rest because like I said, it is 11, 12. I'm gonna take a shower and then wake up in the morning and do some schoolwork. I have one assignment that's due on Sunday. Um, I started reading it before I left. So that's probably why I'm exhausted as well because I was up at eight o'clock trying to do my assignment. And yeah, my <laughs> focus wasn't there. So this is my the next day it is Friday and it is 9.30, almost 9.30 um, Central Central Standard Time. I'm still in Alabama, so I'm going to get ready to go. This is my outfit. My jacket is from Target. My sweater crop top is from Shein. These leggings are from Yvette Sports. And then I have on my Georgia slides that my husband got for me from academy i think but that was from last year so i have my hair curly probably have to refresh it with some water tomorrow but yeah this is it for today i went so. to bucky's to get some gas if you don't know bucky is originally from texas i believe it's just a large um gas station they have like over 100 pumps at the gas station or whatever so i got a drink so you get this big drink for 99 cents and then i'm so excited because i've been wanting holiday <laughs> shirts from bucky and i missed out on halloween and i walked in and they had the christmas one so on the front it just have its bucky logo and then on the back says never calm always bright i'm so excited about this shirt so excited so i got that shirt 
And then for snacks, um, I was going to get a soda out the bottle, but I didn't get it. So instead I got snacks and I saw these dill pickle pork rinds and I love dill pickles. So I hope these are good. And it had two for $2. So I got another one. And this one is chili lime pork rind. And then I got some beaver nuggets. So my dad can try them. Um, oh, it's got a bag that was crunched up in the back but it's okay and then I got a a Bucky's egg cheese bacon egg and cheese biscuit so yeah that's what I got from Bucky's on my way I'm really excited about my shirt so so now I'm gonna get on the road I think I have like three hours maybe less than that to get to Athens um so it's currently 10 o'clock central time so it's 11 o'clock in athens so my snacks and we're ready to hit the road first let me text my husband i meant to throw this trash away Um, can I get the number one with the fingers dipped in hot honey mustard? Stopped in Alabama and I got Zaxby's so I got some Zax sauce and tongue torch like Zaxby's is in Dallas but it's like in two locations and so they change a lot because usually when I had it back home in Georgia like they'll give you the sauce in like the quick container so I got the big zack snack meal i got my wings dipped in hot honey mustard and i love it Maybe they have a, a bar and a grill restaurant down here. They have to have rooms every night. Oh. 
so um i stopped in jackson mississippi um i got here like around almost 8 p.m central standard time so i drove like what i left athens like at 1 30 1 45 so two three four five six seven so I drove for like six and a half hours. So that means I should have only like five and a half hours to get to Dallas. So yeah, currently it is 7.30 a.m. Like I said, I am in, I stopped in Jackson, Mississippi. I stayed at the MC Suites. Um, all the hotels I stayed in, I'll link them below. I stayed in hotels, I didn't drive all the way. If anyone really knows me, they know like, I like to just get there and drive if I need to, but I decided to stop on my way back to Texas and to Georgia midway, but also last night I had a school assignment. I had some, this little road trip since Thursday, and today's Monday. Enjoyed my time in Georgia. I saw my dad, um, went to the Georgia game. So um, I think that was the first game I ever been to because I know in high school I was in cheerleading and I think we had to work at the concession stand for like one season. So I worked in the concession stand, but I didn't actually like sit down and watch a game. So that was a fun experience. I know it made my dad happy because I told him I was gonna come and things worked out and I was able to go. So it was an in and out trip. Um, I really didn't see a lot of people, really didn't see no one. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. People can be mad, I don't care. Um, it was about my dad at the end of the day. This embassy has free continental breakfast. The hotel I stayed in in Alabama, it had continental breakfast as well. I, just, I never stayed at MC Suites, so we'll see what kind of breakfast they have. And if I want it, if not, like I said, I'm gonna just go to Starbucks, I get me a drink and get me a grilled cheese and be on my way back to Dallas. So I don't have to stop and get no gas because I got gas like 50 miles ago. Yeah, you know, I enjoy driving. Um, I still don't feel comfortable with flying, so that's why I decided to drive. And plus, I was able to have a car and I didn't have to rent a car and go through that whole process. Yeah, the drive was like 12 hours, but hey, it saves some money somewhere, right? I was crying when I left Athens. Um, it was very emotional for me to leave my dad. He started crying and it made me cry. I'm very emotional nowadays, so if somebody cries, I cries. But it was hard to leave my dad, um, so I told him I'll come back or he needs to come to Texas. Um, he hasn't been in Texas since I first moved out here. Well, I'm not there, but he hasn't been in Texas since I first moved there. And I moved to Dallas in February 2018. So it'll be four years in February I've been in Dallas. It don't seem like it. Time went by once I hit like the first year and the second year. And then after that, time just went by really fast. Like that's crazy. I've been in Dallas for almost four years. And I was born and raised in Athens, Georgia. And then I moved to Atlanta for like three and a half years. And then I moved to Dallas. Check out, it is 7.40 now. I'm gonna see what type of breakfast they have. And if I want some, I'll get some. But mostly, if it's nothing I want, I'll just take a picture, send it to my husband because he loves breakfast and he loves free continental breakfast. So tell me, send me a picture of what they have. So I have to do that. But. So I decided to stop at the Welcome Center. It's the Mississippi River. I remember when I drove to Texas when I left Georgia. It was like at night, but this is the river. Like, look how big it is. We draw. 